Hi, my name is Ian. I'm a 3D capture specialist and I work for virtual production companies and heritage sites. I've always been fascinated by our ancestors and their ancient burial mounds and standing stones. They went to such lengths to travel hundreds of miles with particular types of extremely heavy stones and align them accurately with sun and moon positions at solstices and equinoxes. Using LiDAR with the Scaniverse app, I have scanned hundreds of these from around the UK and I like building my own environments with them in a 3D editor called Blender. Scaniverse has also been really helpful for augmenting these stones back in their original quarries and allowing me to explore these burial mounds in entirely new ways in 3D. Scaniverse mesh scans export many model formats so they can be integrated easily into all 3D editors like Blender, game engines and AR or VR headsets. I have to admit, the first time I opened Blender, I was a bit overwhelmed, but after a few hours and many free online video tutorials, I was able to edit models, add lights, cameras, and even animations too. In 3D, there are so many helpful tools that are free and allow you to experiment with your 3D scans. 3D Gaussian splats are a revolutionary capture method, but they are quite large files called PLYs. Niantic Scaniverse recently created a solution for this with a new open source 3D format called SPZ. These shrink PLYs by 10 times, with minimal visual differences between the quality of the two, making them lighter for creating extended reality experiences. Other developers have been quick to adopt SPZs when building their 3D editing platforms. Scaniverse's parent company Niantic also has a powerful web editor, Niantic Studio, that allows you to import and use your scans in 3D and web games. Sharing your creations through Studio is done through a browser link too, so no need to download an app. Another fantastic way to share your Gaussian splat scenes and models in virtual reality is called Into the Scaniverse, Niantic's expanding 3D map of our world. When you upload your 3D Gaussian splats in the app, anyone else with the app installed can interact with your models on their device. The fast-growing online community of worldwide 3D scanners also have physical meetups, and there are regular chances to win theme-based prize competitions. When I began capturing my world with Scaniverse on my iPad all those years ago, I never imagined it was going to lead to supplying professional 3D work like it has for me today. I put my success down to the ease of use in capturing an object or scene, then quickly sharing slick, edited videos of my models straight out of the app in a few minutes. I see it as the 21st century version of video and photography combined, and even more so with the futuristic splat capture method. Emerging 3D technologies are becoming popular through mobile phone apps such as Scaniverse, and new industries and work opportunities are everywhere for people who can copy and share 3D for mapping, gaming, heritage sites and film. The most important thing to remember with 3D scanning is to enjoy yourself, stay safe and share and inspire yourself and others with your creations.